Hello, I'm Mrs. A. Mauswa from Destin Learning Center. Uh, this is a grade two lesson, Maths and Science. Uh, our lesson is on addition. We've done addition before, but now we want to put it in a story way. So these are called story sounds. It's easy to understand in real life. You have to be talking about things which are really happening for you to see how addition, which we know, works. So there is suppose the story. There was a boy called Tenai. So Tenai had eight stones. And then he got nine more. Now he has how many stones? Remember, we are adding numbers. Remember our numbers? So if we are adding these numbers, make sure that as you write them in the, using the story sum method, the numbers are in a straight line. Numbers are in a straight line so that you have your eight day and your nine day. And when you come down to your answer, you make sure that your answer is also straight with those ones. So you can either use a number line or a, any other method which you, you understand. It can be counters or there can be a number line which you use. So now you get eight and nine and you get 17. And then when you come, make sure that your units are straight with the other units. So you write your seven first, your units, and then your tens. So now Tendai has 17 stones. So make sure that your layout is straight there. The words on this side, the numbers are in the center there and they should be straight with each other. All right. Now let's look at another example. Now we have got Talbot. She found 10 nuts. And then she continued and she found seven more. Now she has how many nuts? All right, now we have the word more there, which also shows us that what are we doing? We are adding. So you have your addition sign there. And look at the numbers as I was saying, when you write your numbers, you have, you have 10, that's one ten, zero units there, and then seven the unit is straight with the zero there. It is very important that your numbers are in a straight line. And so you add. It's very easy now. You don't add many numbers, but you simply add zero plus seven, and you get your answer as seven. You put it down straight with the other figures. And one, there's nothing there. If there's nothing, it's the same as zero. So it's like one plus zero, one plus nothing and you get a one day. So what is our answer? Now she has 17 nuts. That's how they say. Let's look at another example again. This time, let's notice that we are adding now three numbers. It says, Jeremy had five cents. Father gave him five cents. And mother gave him five cents. Now, how many cents does Jeremy have? All right, so when we are adding, it doesn't matter whether you're adding two numbers, three numbers, four numbers, or as many numbers as you can think of. This method is still the same. You just continue, we are adding on top of the other. We are adding how many are they all together. So you add five plus five, you get your 10, and then you add five, okay? How many are you going to get? So five plus five, it's 10 plus five, and you get 15. So when you write your 15, make sure you write your 5 first. 5 and then your 1 inside. So this line is for units and this one is for tens. So you have your 15 straight. Good. Now, let's look at another example now, but we're using bigger numbers. You see we have number 17 and 21. How are we going to do that? Let's read our story to understand what we are doing. Tendai had 17 eggs. John had 21 eggs. All together, they had how many eggs? Our key word to know what we're doing there is all together. So that all together still means where well, what we're doing at? We are adding. So let us add. Find out how many eggs he, those two people have all together. So when we are adding, we start with the units. You start on the right hand side. So you add seven plus one. What you get? Eight. Good. You put your eight. You 
you come to the side again and add one plus two, and you get your answer as three, and you write your three like that. So all together, we have 38x. So make sure you start on the right hand side with your unit and end with your tens. Let's look at another example still. Now we have Mel there. Mel had 43 mangoes and Fazi had 56 mangoes. All together, how many mangoes did they have? Same method. Our keyword again still all together there. And when we are adding, we are starting from the right hand side. So 3 plus 6 is 9. Put your 9 down. And then at 4 plus 5, you find that is 9. So that all together, they've got how many? 99 mangoes. So easy, isn't it? The figures may look big, especially for these two at the end. But as long as you add the units first, and then you end with the tens, you find that it's simple addition. So you need to master. Master addition first, now from 1 to 10, and then from the 11 going upwards, you find that it's easy, because if you place your units straight and your 10 straight, then you find that you can easily add and get your answer. So let's practice addition, and you can add any time, even if they pick the big figures, make sure that your figures are in a straight line in order for you to get your answers right. So these are story sounds. When you read your story, make sure that you arrange it in such a way that figures are in a straight line. And also, look for keywords when you are adding. Like there, we get more, more, and then now he has for that one. That now he has, because he, this was now he has how many? This is our keyword to show us that we're still adding. And all together means add, put together. So next time you come across a story sum, find the keyword and arrange your figures in a straight line. I hope you enjoyed your lesson.